The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Yeah, they're dead. They're all messed. Cheers to you, viewers. You are watching Brains. And Bruce. And this handsome fella is my brother, Rick. What's good? What's good, Joe the Psychologist? You ready to mm, talk some more zombies? You know what? We're going somewhere else tonight, son. We sure fucking are. I mean, like, this is a different kind of ride that we're going to take tonight. We're taking the train. Oh, mm. yeah. I'm on the night train. <laughs> so I like the midnight trains of Georgia. Oh, man. So we're on two different spectrums, but we always uh, come to the yeah. same destination. <laughs> so what's good? Well, for this, we are going to be discussing an Asian zombie movie. Korean this is zombie movie. Korean. This is our first for this series. Yeah. And I will also say that this was actually my introduction to Asian horror. Yes, we had The Grudge and The Ring, but I saw the remakes first and then I saw the Asian horrors. So when I saw my first Asian horror, this was it. And this was a fucking awesome movie. Yeah, so this movie is a whole other kind of zombie runner <laughs> fucking kind of movie, If right? you love your runners, this <laughs> is the film for you. Yo, this movie was insane. So we are discussing the 2016 movie Train to Busan. This was directed by Sang Ho Young. And the movie stars Gong Yo as Suk Woo, Ma Dong Suk as Sang Hwa, and Su An Kim as Su An. So Rick, Oh, my brother, brother, what are you brother. drinking tonight? Tonight I acquired a brew that I have been looking for a long, long time. Shout out to my boy, Fat Love. He hooked it up. We went to see Cocaine Bear last week and he gave me this beer. And I'm like, I ain't drinking it until tonight. What I'm going to be drinking, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Broken Skull <laughs> IPA, son. Let's go. And I Stone haven't cold. even cracked it open yet so yes we are talking about a 6.7 alcohol volume right here this is a pint as well so this is a bit more not just alcohol volume but volume as a whole so without further ado let's crack this steve wives uh, open this is the first ricky grimes right here live beer taste here on horror fiend tv brains and brews Put the can right here. You know why? Because we all cheer for big bottles of beer. Salute my brother. Oh, bro. Look at the foam. Oh, man. That... You yeah, can yeah, tell you, I'm not a you professional. Didn't, you didn't, you yeah, didn't, yeah, you yeah. Didn't you didn't it. Bro, you didn't sip that shit. That's right, brother. You know what? I could wait for that. Mm. All right. It's an IPA. <laughs> a very strong tasting IPA. Nothing that's blowing my mind. But let's see how it goes as we record this episode let's go take that train son what's good what, what you sipping on kid what you sipping me on? i kept it local and this is from orange blossom brewery and it's actually called the orange blossom pilsner this has 2.3 teaspoons of honey in it bro i thought you were gonna say 2.3 alcohol i was about oh, to say no it's 5.5 5.5 5. Uh, 5. that's not bad it's like a corona a little a little heavier a little heavier yeah so this bottoms up brother Fill my this cup. shit, this shit goes down very easy. Yeah, and that is for me a sign of a good beer. You don't want so, that bitter beer taste, son. Uh -uh. Oh no, there's no bitter. Salud, salud, mm. brother, salud. Are you ready to drink some more delicious beer and talk these Korean zombies, kid? I sure am. <laughs> One thing about this movie was the quick transmission of the virus. I obviously thought that it's not necessarily in the blood. That means it's in the saliva. Therefore, making it a quick transmission. And the zombies in this one were just a little bit different. They made them super fast. Agile obviously. as fuck. <laughs> Agile as fuck. But it wasn't just that. Like the way that sometimes the bodies moved around and contorted. Contorted, so like, yeah. 
What did you think about the fast transmission for one? Going into this movie, we talked about 28 Days Later, so you know how my dislike of runners, you know? know? If a movie is done well like 28 Days Later, all for it. Daughter of the Dead, the remake, I was not a fan of those runners. The movie, yes, overall was entertaining, but the runners themselves, not a fan of them. These motherfuckers, Ricky Grimes is a fan. These guys were awesome, bro. Now, the way they just transformed really quickly from from like a human being into the undead if you could even call them that because these like like i said these motherfuckers are fast and not, not only that every motherfucker in this movie was fast like even the humans you see how they will all run make it onto the train <laughs> jump onto the motherfucker i like i digress but holy no shit. wait let, let's just slightly pause on that i can't run that fast no <laughs> like honestly <laughs> i can't run that fast like these fucking guys like the the humans yeah, no, that train sequence. Yeah, no, I can't run that fast. My boy saying, wow, man, this dude, not only did he run, was last in the line, but he had time to stop, grab a shield and a baton. Or I think it was a baton. Ran back to the train, caught up to it, jumped on after knocking out a few zombies, which the funny thing about this movie is they actually call them zombies. Top keyword was zombie, zombies. And they mentioned Zomb it yep. on the screen as well. You know, they weren't holding it back in this film. They, they uh, planted their tongue firmly in cheek and said, we're going to go all the way with it. Fuck and they did a great job as far as the transmission your first question yes it makes it scarier more intense it makes it stakes higher when you can just get bit and there's no time to think because you're going to turn i think it worked well within the framework of this film it made it scary the way that the minute one bit into them that after they walked away and they were attacking another one that one got up and jumped it was scary as fucking fuck and how fast it could happen i, like I can't thing. run i mean i literally Listen, I, can't I, 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 had, I actually did one of those challenges where you're supposed to practice. So I forgot what it's supposed to be like a mile in a certain amount of minutes. I did it one time. That's it. <laughs> like, I don't think that's going to constitute running from fucking zombies. The quick transmission I thought was pretty cool because it just made the fact that you couldn't run from them. It, it made it hard for you to be able to escape. Another thing that it had was the CGI was amazing. The Horde, like we are the Walking Dead fans. And for us, Hordes is completely different. They yeah. walk slower. They don't run like these motherfuckers. It's like these <laughs> Hordes. Let's take a sip for the Horde. Sip for the Horde. The cinematography as a horde, and again, a horde is like it, it's like 20, 30, 40, like a whole bunch of them in there was one of the best things in this movie. I, I love the way that it showed the amass of zombies one on top of each other. It was exquisite. Oh shit. What did you think about the way that they shot the horde scenes? And what is your favorite horde scene in this movie? The cinematography in this film. I like the fact that it's a mixture of like practical, lots of CGI, awesome camera movements, like that long dollies, the pannings, the push zooms, huge wide shots. Everything works together cohesively and I think it makes it look really well. Of course, yeah, when they mount on top of each other, you can tell it's digital but you mentioned it before it's still done in a good way because they don't linger on it it's real quick and it cuts to a practical shot directly after smart right there by the way i'm catching all these little tricks and and and, and i'm like man this fucking moves awesome like in the beginning one of the male train attendants let's say he gets taken down and he comes back like instantly bro and he comes back and his head's hanging his eyes fucked up and he starts running real quick and he's got like that that dream like camera on him so it's almost like a fish eye and he's running real quickly and then it cuts to a scene where it's a side shot and you see all the zombies just running and tripping over each other and flying through the, over the sea. Awesome, awesome. And it kept open. The action stays boom, boom, boom. Different styles, different cuts. It doesn't stay lingered in one static motion. This movie is like smoking the best fucking weed you can smoke, but on <laughs> film. You know what I'm saying? So this, yeah, the cinematography is awesome. And my favorite shot, it honestly doesn't involve a horde. If, it, if it's going to involve a horde, it's when they start throwing themselves through the windows, splatting on the floor, landing on no. people. Oh, uh, that was it. Oh, oh my God. I would have fucking freaked out. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude. Like the scene when Suan was in the train and she looks subtly to her right and you see a zombie tackle a passenger on the outside, but there's no sound. It's just... 
but not even that like it's just silence that to <laughs> me was fucking scary bro that to me that's my favorite shot in the whole entire film that is a great shot selflessness is a theme within this fucking movie that one owner guy got like five six people killed <laughs> including our main protagonist at the end of the film as an undead i'm sorry we jumped I jumped a little ahead, but it is what it is. Time, what like, was the lead to you, really? Yeah. Fucking g- giggle mess over here, motherfucker. No, he was. You, was a, you didn't watch Eternals? Oh, I did, but I was really drunk for that okay. one. Is that who he was? Yeah, from Eternals, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we generally talk about, like, the lead, but this movie, like, for me, who stuck out was sang Yeah, he was a I mean, character. His character yep. was... Awesome the moral compass yep like the kick ass motherfucker in the movie oh. you know like he actually outshined the other character the so, ingenuity bro when he put the metal plates on his fucking oh wrist so they don't bite not through, just that bro. but he was like wrapping his wrist first of all this movie right? is like watching a film on crap bro, son. bro <laughs> you and i hate long movies <laughs> we don't do crap we, we are both the two like it's over an hour and a half. This is, it's over two hours, I think. Bro, like I said, it's dude. fast. Going back to the protagonist, That's this company no, it, is responsible for the zombie outbreak, right? It is. The it, quick it, scene, it, shows, it shows it a little bit later. Before I throw it back to you, the shit is the fan and his hands are all bloody and he wash he's trying to wash the blood off his hands metaphorically like trying to wash his sins away and the blood's not coming off because he can't wash the blood of everyone else that's on his hand this guy he's working 24 7 he was a horrible husband horrible father horrible human being because he was selfish but i do like his character arc because he did come full circle and his end of his story was great thank you ended up becoming dale dale with a big set of balls <laughs> literally is the best way that i could put this character he was awesome wasn't over exaggerated you connect to his to his guess yes. <laughs> so I, I love this character and his yeah like he didn't make it of course he went out like a g he went out fighting like he would so yeah man he's a top tier character in my opinion and i dig the actor a lot too. top two definitely top tier as you're watching it is the character that you can relate to the most in this movie and the way he talks i talk that way this was my fucking favorite character in this movie sang hua sat there and pointed out to him the importance of his child and the importance of sacrifice oh dude this ending what did you think about this fucking ending great fucking amazing i love endings that are not cliched or pg-13 or bubble gum you know i like endings like the mist endings like like oh, this the and the fact that this ending this wasn't the most bleakest ending because two we got two survivors in this well three technically if you know what i'm saying he's pregnant yes so. his very last shred of humanity was used with that smile thinking back to when his daughter was oh, born yeah. and then that one shot just a shadow just as a zombie just falling over the cart and that music bro like everything about that that ending and the demise of sock Wu's story beautiful beautiful story told and of course and the two survivors or three it's it's gorgeous ending and I, when i say gorgeous bloodshed blood guts death here and there and it ends with life essentially i can admit that train to busan is definitely a top five for me it's a well-made film with every character even if you don't like the main protagonist but every character matters and somehow there's a connection to each and every one of them whether it's the younger characters the older characters the baseball team this film is an ensemble of a lot of hard work behind and in front of the camera so this film is a, is a success and it's one of the most highest grossing Korean films like of all it time. Is. So. It, 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 it's, it, it's, it's great. That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. I gotta tell you something. Dawn of the Dead is now my number one of this Character development. Alright, so until then, we'll see you next time. Don't get Bit. Destiny's devils, devils be savages. Slim than enchants with the averages. Sinning on the low like you added slick. Darkness make you disappear like a magic trick. Put up to the table, come down and sit. These devils try to tie you the crown with it. Now you surrounded by counterfeits. Trying to chop you up into a thousand bits.